Start game now. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of the No Swear Gamer. Today I'm going to take a look at the Wheel of Fortune plug and play system made by Jack Specific. Yeah, it runs on four AA batteries, has a little screw compartment in the back, and it is a TV games unit right here. We have the on off switch and it does work. You have the uh, menu and pause button right here, two buttons right here. Uh, one of the coolest things though about it is the wheel. Check that out. That is actually what you spin when you have to spin the wheel in this game very cool now the sticker doesn't matter where it lands on here what matters is the game but i still think <laughs> that wheel is just a ton of fun and it's also got a game key access jack specific uh, had this idea where you could take little cartridges put them into systems they'd be system specific you couldn't swap them with different systems but for something like this you would have extra puzzles you put in the game key, key put this in and now you got more puzzles or other systems you could get extra games they quickly abandoned this idea, and I don't think they even made any for the Wheel of Fortune system. I've never seen any, actually, but they did make them for some other systems. Later on, they'd remove this function. Some versions, you don't even see this in the same type of unit. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a further look at this. We also got our AV cords right here, mono audio. Let's go ahead and plug that in our TV and take the wheel for a spin. Wheel of Fortune was released as part of Jack's Pacific TV Games line in 2005. It's based on the popular TV game show and it's for 1-3 to three players. When playing a multiplayer game, you simply pass a controller to whoever's turn it is. The game is basically what you expect, where you try to earn cash and fabulous prizes by solving one of over 700 puzzles. I'm not sure how the program mixes the puzzles up, but I've owned this for years and I never recall getting the same puzzle twice. The game also keeps track of high scores and uses a profile system so you don't have to re-enter the same information over and over again. Multiplayer games can be a lot of fun as my wife and I have played this game several times and she's not really a gamer but more of a Wheel of Fortune fan. And as I said before, you simply trade the controller during the game. Also, the person who has the most money at the end of three rounds gets to go to the final bonus round for a chance at some major prizes. One thing I should point out is that if you play a two-player game, there is no computer player who takes over the third player. As a matter of fact, there are no computer players at all in the game. So if you play as a single player, you will not play against any opponents, but instead will play against a turn system. In the system, you will get a certain number of turns depending on the difficulty of the game you select. Once you use up all your terms, your game is over, even if you didn't make it to the final round. There are three levels of difficulty, where on the easiest level you will get six turns, the normal level will give you five, and the hardest level will give you four. I don't think the difficulty changes the difficulty of the puzzles, just the number of turns you get. There's two modes of play. The normal mode allows you to refill your turns after each round, and the endurance mode does not. Overall, the game controls pretty well. I really like spinning the wheel. However, there were some times where I spun the wheel before the game was ready, which resulted in my spin not going all the way around. When that happens, you're given another chance to spin, but if it happens twice in a row, you lose a turn. You can also use the B button instead to spin the wheel that will guarantee to go around at least once, but what fun is there in that? When you try to solve a puzzle, you are given 30 seconds to solve it by filling in the blank. Spelling counts, but it won't end your turn, but instead the timer will just continue to count down until you get it right or until the timer runs out. There's also special wedges on the wheel depending on which of the three rounds you are in, including a prize wedge, Mystery wedges, which are either a bankrupt or $15,000 in cash. A jackpot wedge, where if you solve the puzzle when you land on it, you will earn whatever cash is in the jackpot. Graphically speaking, the game is very simple. Basically, you have a basic wheel and puzzle screens, and that's about it. Somewhat disappointing is that if you win a prize, you don't see what it is, but rather just tells you what it is in text and how much money it's worth that will go towards your total. The music is fairly minimal as well, with a decent version of the theme at the beginning and solid sounds for the various aspects of the game, but there really isn't too much there. On eBay, used versions usually sell for around $10, and that includes the shipping, but the prices do fluctuate a bit. 
So what do I think of this game overall? Well, the wheel on the controller is awesome. One of the cool things about plug and plays is that they can customize the controller for the game itself, and this one does a great job taking advantage of that. The game itself, though, is a mixed bag. While a very solid game for more than one player, I really wish they would have allowed for computer opponents to take the place of missing players, especially in the single player games. My wife and I played this a lot until we got the Wii version, which is a much better game overall. So if you can get the Wii version, but if you want just a simple Wheel of Fortune plug and play game, or you really like the Wheel, which is cool, this one may be for you. So where am I going to rank it? Well, it's, it's definitely going to rank ahead of the Coleco head-to-head -head plug and play system, but while it's good for more than one player, I think I'd rather play the Namco Miss Pac-Man plug and play, so it's going to be my new number five game on my ranking of plug and play games I've reviewed so far. Jack Pacific also released a second version later on that had 700 new puzzles, and the controller itself was more gold in color. So there you go, the Wheel of Fortune plug and play system. It's a cool wheel and the game's somewhat okay. If you enjoy videos like this, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It would mean a lot. I would also like to invite you to follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Just go to either one, search for The No Swear Gamer. And as always, you can feel free to share my reviews on your social media site of choice. Thank you everyone for giving me a little part of your day. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you right here on The No Swear Gamer. Take care, everyone.